The rectangle ABCD is given. Also, the length of BE and EC is given. And we know that AED is a right triangle. The question asks for the length of AB, which is defined as X. In order to solve this problem, I'm going to use a simple formula. We know that for right triangles, if the sides are A and B and hypotenuse is C, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is the formula that I will use to solve this problem. If you take a look at uh, the figure, we know that in a rectangle ABCD, the angles that we have are 90 degree angles. Therefore, the triangles that you see here, DCE and ABE, both are right triangles. So we can apply this formula uh, to both triangles. We also have AED as right triangles. So again, we can use this formula uh, to that triangle as well. If we start with AED, we can write the formula using these two sides, and we know the length of AD. AD is equal to the square root of 2 plus 3 times the square root of 2. So AD is 4 times the square root of 2. So if we start applying uh, the formula AE squared plus ED squared is equal to AD squared. As I mentioned, AD squared is 3 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 squared, and this is equal to 4 times the square root of 2, and this is equal to 32. Now we have AE squared and ED squared. AE squared, that you see here, because this is a right triangle, is equal to EB squared plus X squared. And ED squared, the term that you see here, is equal to CD squared plus CE squared. So let's replace these expressions. We can write AE as X squared plus square root of 2 squared. And for ED, we can write again X squared plus 3 times the square root of 2 times the squared. And we can write this as x squared plus 2 plus x squared plus. This one will give us uh, 9, 18. And if we uh, simplify this, it will be 2x2 squared plus 20 is equal to uh, 32. If I further simplify the expression, I will get 2 times x squared is equal to 12. And if I divide both sides by 2, I will get x squared is equal to uh, 6. And from this, I can get x as plus minus square root of 6. Because we are dealing with lengths, negative 1 doesn't have any meaning, and we can get rid of that. <clears throat> Therefore, x is equal to square root of six yeah and this is the end of video if you like this video please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this